Okay, page 70, problem 9. A group of pupils played games during recess. One over two, and half of them, played ball games. One fifth of the remaining pupils played hide and seek, and the rest played tag. Twelve fewer pupils played hide and seek than tag. How many pupils played tag? Okay. So what you basically do <coughs> is you represent again as a model each of your sentence. So sentence number two. Half of them played ball games. So this is what you do. You take, you draw a block, divide it in half. Half of it, these kids were playing ball games, right? And we are looking at this part, which is called remaining part, or later you will find maybe the word remainder, right? So illustrate the same remainder again, and we work with the second sentence. One fifth of the remaining pupils played hide and seek, the rest playing tag. One fifth. So one fifth, and like this, right? This is our one fifth. Our one fifth, we're playing hide and seek. The rest of it, clearly, four fifths, we're playing tag, right? Now the last sentence tells us 12 fewer pupils played hide and seek than tech, which basically 12 less, right? Or 12 people, 12 pupils more were playing tag than hide and seek, right? So we, we're looking at this unit, they were the same. They were the same, and hide. this is hide and seek, and this is tag. These parts are the same. What is the difference? This is the difference, 12 pupils more. Again, that could be a confusing part, right? These are the students that played hide and seek. These are the students that played tag. And they're telling us that 12 less were playing hide and seek, or 12 more were playing tag. So this is the difference. And that's pretty much all math. Three units. Now we see this difference. Three units is 12. So how much is one unit? is 12 divided by 3, which is 4, right? <clears throat> and then they're asking us the question, how many pupils played the tag? We know this, 4 units. So 4 units is 4 times 4 equals 16. This is your answer. 16 pupils played tag. 16 pupils played tag. Okay, next problem, same as the previous one, is highly focused on this playing with the remainder concept, or part of a remainder. So, problem 10. Kenny spent 80 bucks of his allowance on food, two-fifths of the remainder on stationery, and saved the rest. He saved one over three one-third of his allowance. How much was Kenny's allowance, right? So, this is what we draw. We draw the total money. This was how much money Kenny had. Right? We know that <clears throat> right? this part of it was were spent for food initially. Initially. And we know that he spent eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Right? Now this part is what we call remainder. Right? So we need to illustrate it again. We draw it again. This is how we create model. We draw the remainder again. And they, they tell us that two-fifths of the remainder on stationery were spent. And then he saved the rest. Two-fifths, we divide the thing into five parts. right? Two-fifths, so two units out of five, were spent on stationery. Stationery. And... Clearly, the rest is 3 over 5 was saved, right? So they're asking us, right? They're asking us how much money was total initially. Now they're giving us one more uh, another extra sentence and more information. He saved one third of his allowance. So this money were saved. Is this if these three units, 
three units, right? Three units is one third. Then how much is the whole? How much is the whole? We have three units. We have our five units. We can make if three if one over one over three is three units, then three over three will be nine units. So we are missing our four units. Okay, I hope you guys follow. Sorry, it's gonna be sloppy drawing. All right. So the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one third of it is these three units saved. Okay? That's it. We know now that our four units is eighty dollars. So how much is one unit? One unit is eighty dollars divided by four equal twenty. What is the total? As we as we just said again, nine units or the fraction nine over nine, right? Nine units is the total. One unit is twenty dollars. Twenty dollars times nine. How much is that? One hundred eighty dollars. That is your final answer. Candy's allowance was one hundred eighty dollars.